A major sinkhole opened up on a highway in New Hampshire Wednesday, shutting down part of Interstate 93. And it wasn't the only sinkhole to emerge. In Florida, another sinkhole reopened in the exact spot as a 2013 sinkhole that swallowed a man while he was sleeping in his bed. That man's body was never recovered. While no one was injured in Wednesday's sinkholes, they're increasingly a dangerous problem nationwide. CBS News contributor Michi Okaku is a professor of theoretical physics at City College of New York, and he joins us now to talk a little bit about the science behind sinkholes. First of all, why does it seem like we're seeing more of them? Well, the population of Florida is expanding, and there was rainfall, record ra rainfall in the area. And Hillsborough County is known as Sinkhole Alley. And the state of Florida is the sinkhole capital of America. So it's not surprising that you can get sinkholes in this situation, one right on top of the other. Florida is one of the states that we see these sinkholes, and this one was so dramatic, again, because it happened in the same spot where a man lost his life. My understanding is that they went in and they had added gravel. Is it common for a sinkhole then to reappear in the same place once it's been addressed? Yeah, what happened was after the sinkhole collapse of 2013, they, they filled it up with gravel, but they really should have done uh, much more studies. For example, ground penetrating radar would have shown that there was perhaps another hole underneath the previous hole. And that's why you have a collapse one on top of the other. And we're seeing there the overhead view of that sinkhole now. Okay, in addition to Florida, what other states really deal with recurring problems of sinkholes? Well, you may be surprised to realize that 40%, 40% of the United States is potentially susceptible to sinkholes, including the state of Texas, Tennessee, Missouri, uh, Georgia. These states uh, have uh, a fair amount of sinkhole activity, and you realize that it's not uncommon to have the ground under your feet simply collapse. What do these states have in common? Well, they have what is called carbonate rock underneath. Now, the state of Florida is perhaps based almost entirely on limestone, a form of carbonate rock, which is porous. Water comes in, will dissolve the limestone, leaving an underground cavity that is not visible from the surface. And the cavity could then collapse if there's too much weight on top of the sinkhole. And you said because so many people are moving to Florida that developers keep building and building. Talk about adding weight onto maybe rocky and holy ground. That's and right. And by holy, I don't mean sacred. Right. And there are things you can do uh, if you suspect that there is some kind of sinkhole underneath your house. For example, if the windows don't close properly anymore, and if the doors creak and don't shut properly, it could indicate the fact that your house is actually shifting. And if so, then you should perhaps get an engineer. And there are three things you can do. One is ground penetrating radar. You can actually get a radar photograph of what's underneath your house. Second, you can drill boreholes, which will then look at the uh, consistency of the soil. And third, electrical conductivity. By looking at how uh, resistance uh, changes with the depth, you can reconstruct if there's a hole under your house. Okay, but so if there is a hole, what do you do about it? Well, one thing you can do, if it's a small hole, you can fill it up. Uh, concrete, gravel, there are things you can do to fill up the hole. If it's a very large hole, you may think about perhaps selling the hole. Now, the state of Florida requires that the insurance companies offer sinkhole insurance. So you may seriously think about getting insurance. And in this animation, we're showing you what happens when it rains. We know that Hillsborough County in Florida got a lot of rain. They were dealing with flooding um, just this summer, just in the last month or so, some pretty severe flooding. Any surprise there that you saw the sinkhole erupt after so much well, rain? Well, I think it means that there was a larger hole underneath the mm. hole that was there previously. And realize that these holes could be hundreds, thousands of years old. When you look at the, the lakes of Florida, the beautiful lakes, many of them are actually ancient sinkholes carved out perhaps uh, thousands of years ago. We're looking at fossil sinkholes creating the lakes of Florida. So incredible. Thank you so much, Professor, for coming on and giving us a little explainer. Oh, my pleasure.